Hi everyone, welcome back to Technocoders. In this session, you will be learning about what are different type of shell in Unix or Linux. All your doubt related to shell scripting will be cleared today. Okay, so let's start. So what is actually a shell? Shell is nothing but a Unix or Linux shell is a command line interpreter that provides a command line user interface. So CLI, what is a command line user interface is like you might have noticed that in Windows, when you go to run right and uh, in run you type cmd right if you type cmd it will open one prompt in uh, it will open one prompt right and there you can type some command so same way for unix we have a command line interface we call it is uh, we call that as a shell so there you can write some command write some program and ask your program operating system to you know perform the action accordingly so we have different type of shell in unix or linux why i am saying or is Linux is nothing but it's a Unix like operating system only. It's almost similar. Whatever shell script you will write in Unix, that will work in Linux also. Okay. So Linux came later, Unix came before, but both are similar. So, what type of shell are available in Linux or Unix, right? So, the first is Bond shell, we call it SH, SH shell. Okay. Then we have C shell, CSH. Then we have Corn shell, KSH. And then we have a born again shell, BASH, born again shell. And we have other shell also we don't use more often, but they have some advanced feature also. And uh, TSH shell and Z shell, ZSH. Okay. So what is the born shell? Or we call, call it SH. So this born shell was introduced in Unix in 1979. And this is the mostly used version in all type of Unix scripting. Okay, so mostly it is used in all type of Unix. Whatever Unix you will be using, you will see shell script there. Then we have C shell. So we call it CSH. It was introduced in late 1970s. So the C shell aimed for offer an improved user experience. It its syntax mirrors that of C programming language. So it was influenced using the C programming language. Like CSH. Then we have con shell, KSH. David Cons developed in early 1980s. The Con shell brought the best of Bond and C shell together. So you can say that using SH and some feature of C shell and some more features are added and we created as Con shell. So it means Con shell is more advanced feature compared to both the shell level, right? So that way. And then we have a Bond again shell we call is Bash shell. Okay. So this was created in 1989. So it actually incorporate all the features of SH, KSH, and CHS all together. So it means Bash is more advanced. It contains all type of command available. And then we have other type of shell also. But I will, we will be more focusing on these type of shell only in today's discussion. Now you will be wondering, right, uh, why we have so many shell and what shall we need to choose for our programming? First of all, Thing like that when unix was initially created only bond shell was there right and slowly slowly other shell were developed what that mean is you can compare it with the c language first c language came then c plus plus and so on but still people use c language for writing the program right but c plus plus having more advanced feature compared to c language same way in unix also still people write programming using bond shell because it contain almost all the commands available to write any program but con shell ksh also have some more features or you can say more commands available which are not supported by SH. So it depends upon your requirement. So what I suggest is first check like what kind of program or requirement you have. If that command is not used uh, in SH, then you definitely need to use KSH. And in future, more and more shell will be coming. So you just need to understand that what be works best for you, you need to use accordingly. Now I will try to create one shell programming and I, I will try to show you how you can you know run using bond shell or con shell or born again shell how you can use the same program to run into a different different shells okay to do that i am just uh, creating one new program vi test bond dot sh see here i am giving extension right sh but technically speaking extension are not required if the program is executable i will explain you but you will be wondering right why i am writing that sh then the the reason is if suppose somebody is watching this program by looking into extension 
somebody can tell that oh this is actually a shell script it is using bond shell if it is ksh somebody will understand oh this is con shell or if it is a python program py so it will understand it's a python program or dat it's a dat file but it doesn't mean that if i don't give as such program will not execute right program will still execute if it program have execute permission so this extension is not mandatory but best practice is always write extension so that whoever is reading the program can easily understand what you are trying to achieve so here using vi editor i'm trying to create one program so this is a new program you can see here it's a new file right i will be writing has explanation mark we we as a programmer we called it hash explanation mark or hash bank so this is just to tell that the program should use what kind of interpreter so here i am saying go to bin bin we i have a sh or bond shell located you need to use bond shell as my uh, interpreter when i am uh, when when these commands are inter getting interpreted right it need to be interpreted using bond shell so here i am just writing one small command to print some message echo this is for test that's it i'm just printing this so i'm going back to command clicking colon it will come here w to save the file q to quit the file now let's say file is created or not file got created test bond.sh now you can see here by default i don't have execute permission right so i have read and write because i am owner techno coders i'll logged in as techno coder so i'm owner owner have read and write permission and i am the owner of this file right but i don't have execute permission so if i try to run this program like let's see what happens so to execute a cell script use dot forward slash program name see it is saying permission denied and if you see it is using bash as a default the reason is even though i have given hash bank or uh, sheep bank i told to use as sh but because program is not executable is not able to go inside actually so this by default it is uh, this message was given by bash l now let's give execute permission to my owner to give that ch mode this i already covered in my previous session you can watch my previous video to how to set the permissions so plus execute permission to the file So here you can see x like execute permission got set for my owner now let's try to run this program so this is for test got printed okay now we learn two things here first the line number one right if i cat this file to show you so this line number one was containing the path where the bond cell is located okay now suppose if i am writing ksh con shell then i will use bin ksh it should be there in that part or i am using c shell then c shell sometimes some some of the executable are available in different bin like then you can you can write that path of the bin also like s bin right so so that way so now let me go to the bin and show you how, where all these shells are located you can see here right we have i have done so many programming language here available here which i can use and just try to run ls anything related to sh i have or not yes i have you can you can see here i have bash shell available i have sh available right so so that way i am giving path of the executable so that program can interpret correctly now i am going back to the my previous directory now you understood that how to execute the program the second thing i was talking about this extension is not actually mandate right so let me try to prove that so mv command i am renaming renaming this file test bond to dot sh2 test bond okay so now you can see here i don't have any extension but this file is executable so this matters like file should be executable okay it doesn't matter what extension it have extension is required just for good readability right not because of program execute based upon that as is no see here still it works till now we understood that hash bank or the first line should give the path name where my 
interpreter is located second thing is extension is not mandate what mandate is program should have execute permission now we will understand that what happens if i use advanced command using the old shell script so example i am using bond shell but i am using some feature which are not available in bond shell which are available in ksh what will happen to the program to show that before test array dot sh before so here let's say that i am using array so array actually available in bash shell or ksh but array is not available in bond shell right let me remove so my i am asking my program to execute this command as bond shell let's see what happens test array dot sh see here bad substitution not found the reason is i am asking my program to run as bond shell but bond shell don't have array functionality but it is available in bash shell so what i will do i will just go to my program and ask instead of bash use bash because bash is more advanced and features are there so use bash as a shell okay same program again this extension doesn't matter but if i am writing bash shell for good readability i will actually write this program as bash right so that person who understand because what is happening is i am running this program as sh but internally the program is running as bash so people will confuse right so but still it works that's why i am trying to explain you extension doesn't matter so don't worry about it but best practice is always use extension the feature you are using so example what will happen if right i will write sh and inside i have been i have having a python program right still it will work but people will confuse because they will think oh this is a shell scripting they will never realize oh you are writing a python program inside it so so i am running this again now this program works right before it was failing why it works this time is because this array functionality is available in my bash shell which is bash is more advanced bash is nothing but bound against shell so this is the way you can whatever interpreter you want to run right you can run don't worry about the extension of the file sometime you will if if i write the same program if i rename this to test array dot ss2 test array dot ksh right and try to execute this see still program runs it doesn't matter the reason is why it is working fine is because inside in the line number 1 i ask the program to run as bash shell so this matters okay and again this this shell are located into bin folder by default when you got a unix you will be having all the you know shell available there all the advanced some advanced shell will not be there accordingly you can install also if you have a requirement but this is the way you can write a shell script so just briefing what we understand from starting is we have different type of shell in unix based upon your requirement you need to choose what best for you file extension is not mandatory while you are writing the shell script you can leave it but for best practice and easy readability always use the extension third what is the most important is hash bang or hash exclamation mark here you need to tell your program that use this particular shell as interpreter what that mean is if i am run, run, running this command let's say unset command unset command should be available into bash shell if it is not there it will fail okay or i am initializing one value to the array if this array functionality is not there at all in sh it will fail but because array is available in bash it is working fine so please remember that before you writing a code that feature you are using should be supported by that particular shell as well i hope you like this video Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this and thanks again for watching bye